What's going on guys, it's Gino from Modern Accessory Review and in today's video I want to go over my personal opinion on the Microsoft Surface Buds and why they may not be the best option for yourself. Also, I know it's been about two weeks since I've posted my last video and that is because I've been having to deal with a ton of things with my other business because as you guys probably know, my full-time income is not from YouTube and it's just something that I really love to do. And of course, I won't be able to get a full-time income from YouTube until my growth is a lot more. But if you guys are interested in what I do for my other business, for my main income source, then definitely let me know in the comments below. And if I get enough comments about that, then I will probably make a video on it. That being said, I am definitely going to be posting at least a couple times a week here very consistently. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Starting off, I think these earbuds are super sleek and modern. I feel like you're either going to love them or hate them because they almost look like big white quarters in your ears. Personally, I kind of like this design because it gives us two large touchpads that allow us to easily control your audio and music, which I will definitely talk about more in the video. However, I do wish these earbuds were slightly smaller, like the Galaxy Buds Plus which I have right here, because I believe the smaller the better in wireless earbuds. Now, I personally don't have the Surface Buds yet, and I still need to buy them and spend some time with them, but just by looking at them, I think they're going to look really strange on me because I have some pretty small ears. Now, I do have to mention that Microsoft's main focus with these earbuds was for the work environment, similar to a lot of the other Surface products, which means we have some really awesome call quality for wireless earbuds. Going back to the design, we do only have one color option as of right now, which is the Glacier White, but it does have some gray accents, which is pretty cool in my opinion. As you can see, the gray part of the earbuds are what will be sitting in your ear, and these actually remind me of the AirPods. Instead of getting a really tight seal like the Galaxy Buds Plus that I just showed you, the Microsoft Surface earbuds kind of just sit in your ear. From what I've heard, these earbuds are extremely comfortable for a long amount of time, which is great if you're at the office or if you're just relaxing for a while. But this does mean that you don't get that tight seal, and if you're doing intense physical activity, then these earbuds will probably fall out of your ears. We do have three different ear tip sizes that are interchangeable to give you the best fit possible. Due to the design of the earbuds, we don't have any active noise cancelling or an ambient mode, which is really disappointing in earbuds that are around $200. I can't see where Microsoft is coming from though because they want you to be able to hear your surroundings whether you're at the office or if you're talking to clients and that is the reason why we don't get that tight fit. Talking more about the controls here, on the left earbud you can swipe forward or backwards to go to the next song or to skip back to the previous song and swiping up or down on the right earbud will allow you to change the volume. We can also double tap on each earbud to pause or play your music and of course if you tap and hold then it will activate voice assistant which includes Siri and Google Assistant. Unfortunately we can't customize any of the controls within the app and the only thing Microsoft allows us to do is to completely disable the controls which is pretty much useless and I don't know why you would do it. Another thing that's not that impressive is that we don't get an automatic pause function when you take one earbud out of your ears. For $200, I really wish we would have gotten some of these features. But on the plus side, we do have an EQ customization feature within the Microsoft Audio app that is available for both Apple and Android users that allows us to pretty much change the bass and treble and all of that stuff. We also have two mics on each earbud, and like I mentioned earlier, the audio is very good. With my research, many people think they sound better than the AirPod Pros, which would be very impressive. But of course, I haven't tested them myself yet, so I'm going to buy the earbuds and test it myself and give you guys my personal opinion in a video to come. Now we can also use either earbuds separately, which is really cool to have if you want to have only one earbud in at a time so you can hear everything else around you. Now when it comes to battery life, these earbuds are better than average within this price range and we get about 8 hours of playtime with the earbuds themselves and then an additional 24 hours with the charging case. We also have a really nice quick charge feature where only 10 minutes of charging will give you an additional hour of playtime. Now when it comes time to charge the charging case itself, we do have a USB-C cable that's included, which of course is really nice to have, 
but we don't get any wireless charging, which is kind of weird because the Galaxy Buds Plus have wireless charging and the AirPods Pro and the regular AirPods have wireless charging as well. So that would have been nice if we could have gotten that. We also have one LED battery indicator light inside of the charging case that will turn red when the charging case needs to be charged. Now, moving on to the most important part of the video, let's talk about the sound quality. Since I haven't personally tested the earbuds myself, I can't give you my own personal opinion. However, from tons of research, many people say they sound really clear and crisp, but they don't have that detailed audio because we don't have a really sealed fit. Because of the loose fit and the surface buds, this supposedly affects the bass as well and doesn't give us quite as much thump as we'd hoped for. But of course, don't quote me on that because I personally haven't even tested the earbuds themselves, so I will definitely get my hands on them soon and do a fully in-depth review for you guys. Just a quick side note, we do have Bluetooth 5.0 and these are IPX4 certified, which means that these earbuds are resistant to splashes of water, which pretty much means that if you get caught in the rain, then you'll be fine and you don't have to worry at all. So, wrapping up the video, the Microsoft Surface Buds aren't really what some of us hoped for. They don't have a sealed fit, they are lacking some features, and they don't really have the audio that some of us bass heads are wanting. However, if you are someone who wants some really unique wireless earbuds for relaxing, working, or just for your everyday use, then these earbuds definitely get the job done. For $200, I will allow you to make that decision, but I do recommend to check out the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus and of course the AirPod Pros before you purchase these earbuds. With that being said, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.